Hey you, today's my birthday and I couldn't think of a better way to spend it than by starting it off with you. So thank you so much for joining me for my birthday. I am also answering your assumptions about me. Actually, one of the, it was more of a question, not of an assumption, but someone asked what is in my makeup bag and I currently don't have a makeup bag, I have a makeup bathroom. I just grabbed a box of things, so I'll be showing you what is kind of in my normal lineup. Um, as we go. And so lately my favorite foundation has been the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. I've definitely been liking investing a little bit more in my foundation. And of course I'll have everything linked down below in the description box. But the first assumption is that I like things in order. And I thought this one was so funny because yes and no. I'm pretty organized in like areas of my life, but I wouldn't call my entire life organized. I think it can look that way to a lot of people. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of the NYX eye primer on my eyes and a little bit under my eyes too. But what I wanted to say, I really prefer like structure and organization for me to understand something and to know how to like work. Next, I'm going to go in with the Revlon Antioxidant Candid Photo Ready. I said that so wrong. I just like this because it is super lightweight. Like it feels really nice on my skin. Okay, so the next assumption about me is that I work in fashion. I do not. I work in nonprofit fundraising and I have been doing that now for almost 10 years. It's never something I would thought I'd be doing. I majored in French in college. <laughs> next, I'm gonna set my face with the Airspun Loose Face Powder. Because of my YouTube channel, you could say I kind of work in fashion, but I really have no, at this time, I really have no interest in working in fashion just because that industry in general is just so cutthroat and competitive and it's always changing. All right, next I'm going to bronze my face with the Rimmel Natural Bronzer, waterproof bronzing powder. I did not know it was waterproof. So this next assumption is that I am an ISFJ from the Brig Myers test. Now I had to look this one up. I don't have it memorized what I am. I am an ISFJ. So really good job on that. Do I remember what that means? No. So let's look together. So according to the 16personalities.com, a defender ISFJ is someone with an introverted, observant, feeling, judging personality traits. These people tend to be warm and unassuming in their own steady way. They're efficient and responsible, giving careful attention to practical details in their daily lives. Yeah, I literally was just talking about how I'm efficient and really like to be efficient in my things. I'm very responsible, I'm very practical, to the point where it's almost annoying even for myself. It's like, oh, why, why do I always have to worry about like the responsible thing? Like, why can't I just sometimes live life and have fun and not wake up early in the morning to think about everything. Actually, that was something that just more started in 2020. For blush, I know I'm not supposed to do this, but I'm doing it anyway. I am putting the Rare Beauty. This is in the color Bliss. It is a cream liquid blush, and you're supposed to do that before powder, but I'm doing it after because it's blush and it comes off anyway. I can never win with blushes. Defenders are found in lines of work with a sense of history behind them, such as medicine, academics, and charitable social work. Yeah, you hit it right on the nose. It feels like really braggy to say like, yes, I am a really caring person. Like, <laughs> am I like trying to brag about how great I am? No, because I definitely have my flaws. I got a lot of them. Next, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. Um, if you like the Anastasia Brow Wiz, um, then this is like a great dupe and it's $7. And sometimes on Amazon, they'll accidentally send you two. You can order a pack of two or you can order a pack of one and <laughs> Sometimes they'll send you the pack of two. Next we have the L'Oreal Unbeliever Brow. This is like, you can use all kinds of stuff. It's more like a tint slash gel. So it comes with an applicator, of course, in this, and then they give you a brush and spoolie. I'm trying to get that feathered effect, so it's okay that it's a little bit crazy. Okay, so now clearly this is like kind of a mess and that's fine, that's usual. So I'm gonna just clean it up. So real quick, I'm going to use the ColourPop Plop. <laughs> Super shock highlighter. This is in the Flexitarian. I have had this for almost a year now and it barely looks touched. A little goes such a long way. Um, real quick, 
I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury palette. And so in the crease, I'm gonna start off with this shade, which is called Sm... It doesn't have a name. It is the number three in the day eye look. So this is supposed to be day looks and the night looks, but I use them all. But uh, let's go back to the assumptions real quick. So for this one, there's a correction. We have, you are way smarter than people first assume. And then she followed it up with, my earlier one didn't make sense. So take two. You are highly educated and extremely intelligent. That's such a sweet assumption, to be honest. Thank you. This feels like so braggy to say. Like, yes, I am smart. Like, I, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm good smart. Like, yeah, she's, she's smart. But not like, whoa, she's like, she's extremely educated and highly intelligent. No. No, I am constantly trying to educate myself and learn new things. I think people make assumptions about how smart I am or how organized I am because I don't let the world see my mistakes. I put a lot of pressure on myself to, to do things well and if I'm not doing it well, then I'm not gonna let you see that I'm not doing it well. I try to not let people see me in any kind of spotlight where they could see my flaws. Whew, which suddenly felt so deep. Okay, so I had to do my eyeliner off camera. Just, I, I that, that takes so much concentration. Uh, but I use the NYX Epic Ink Liner in black. And I just line my top lashes, not all the way across, and they're not even. Ugh. I might have just messed that up more, so I'm gonna stop. So have you taken the Myers-Briggs test? If you haven't, I really recommend it. One, it's really fun to take personality quizzes, and two, like I find mine to be really close. Like of course, ouch. Uh, <laughs> of course, um, I never think they're 100% true, just because everyone is different. If all 16 were 100% true, then there would be very little individuality. But I, I think mine has a lot of things that are true and it talks about like some of your strengths and weaknesses. I'll have a link in the description box. Like one of the weaknesses I think that I read for mine is that I need to learn how to say no, which I do. Uh, this is the Lash Paradise L'Oreal again. I really like L'Oreal for brows and for eyelashes. I think they just make really good, for lack of a better word, facial hair products. <laughs> like eyelashes and eyebrows, like that is facial hair technically, right? And then I come in and like, as it's drying, reshape that curl until it's dry. Now I'm going to take my NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. I try not to use suede stuff, or not suede, matte things on my uh, lips. I should stop talking while I do this. Just because I have really bad chap lips in general and matte seems to make it worse. This is their butter gloss. Did you catch that? Did I say that clearly? Probably not. So thank you so much for spending my birthday with me. It really means a lot to me that you are here and watching. Thank you to those who answered me on Instagram with your assumptions. They were super fun. And I hope to do this video again, maybe in a year and have even more answers. So thank you so much again. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.